It's a scary paranormal story that happened to me in my sophomore year in college. It still gives me creeps and scares me to this day. It's a true story. Trust me. As New Year has just begun, I moved into the apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment with two bathrooms. Me and my housemate got our own rooms. Everything seemed nice and got along great for the first week. I would often wake up to sounds in the middle of the night coming from the kitchen since my room was the closest to it. I always assumed it was my roommate having a late night snack. After the second week, he told me that he was actually going to drop the university because he didn't feel so well physically and was kind of homesick. I was sad that he had to go, but I was a little excited thinking that I had the apartment to myself and wouldn't hear his midnight munchies. And that night, I woke up to noise from the kitchen again. I was a bit confused because I was the only one in the apartment. I was alone now. I then went to investigate and found a knife on the floor in the kitchen. I put it back in the drawer and went back to bed thinking it might have fallen from the counter. A few nights passed and I didn't hear a sound except for this night. I heard some sounds coming from my closet. It was about 3 a.m. And then I just felt a coldness around me and my hair was standing up on my whole body when I woke up to see my closet. Suddenly I saw a dark figure standing next to the closet. It looked like a Dementor from the Harry Potter movies, but it disappeared in a few seconds. I figured I was having a wild imagination. The next day I felt tired from all my classes, so when nighttime fell, I knocked out in my bed. That night was the night I would never forget. I remember waking up to some noise coming from behind me. I woke up and I realized that I couldn't move. All I could move were my eyes. I was laying in bed in fear. My heart started to thump really hard. I felt a cold air behind me as I felt this person coming closer, but I couldn't hear any footsteps. That's when I realized the bed was shaking viciously, but it wasn't because of me. I tried to see at the corner of the room and I saw the dark figure from the other day. This time it had red eyes, like those of the devil. My heart sank when I saw it. Although I wasn't a strong believer in God until that moment, I closed my eyes and started to pray to God to help me. I started to remember my parents and friends. That's when I felt the figure stop. I just kept thinking of everything that made me happy and praying to God to help me. And finally, I felt the dark figure leave the room, retreating back to its corner. After five minutes, I was able to move my body. I decided to go sleep at my neighbor's apartment for the night as I ran away as fast as I could run. I eventually moved out of that apartment by the end of the month. And now I'm always wondering if those things are what made my housemate leave. Needless to say, I'm glad I moved out. <laughs>